I'm Anna David, and I'm here in one of the sexiest cities in the world. But you know what I think is even sexier? I'll give you a hint. It's in your pants. There's a lot of people out there who need a little bit of help in the Department of Love. So Attack of the Show sent me to the streets of Los Angeles to give some hands-on advice. So, Michael, I understand you have a question for me. You know, seeing you out here on the street kind of reminded me of something. What kind of public place would you recommend that uh, me and my girlfriend can um, get a little freaking loving going on? The thing that you need to be forewarned about, there are all kinds of places. I mean, like, we're out in public here. But what you need to know and what people, I feel like, do not know is that you can actually get busted. You can get arrested and get put on a sexual deviance list for the rest of your life. I mean, it does actually happen to people. So while it looks like it's this fun little romp and, you know, it's so, like, Ooh, wow, we might get caught. you got to be careful about that kind of thing. I say, if you're into the exhibitionist thing, Hollywood and Highland is not the place to go. <laughs> I say you're asking to get in trouble. And I, I think you seem like a nice guy. I don't want to see you get in trouble with that. I think it's worth it. Listen to the <laughs> defiant guy. Yes, you have a really important question. Yes. I just wonder, uh, what is TD should I get tested for? And how often should I get tested? Women go in for their annual exams, where they get tested every single year for all the basics, sort of chlamydia, gonorrhea. So I think that men should actually do exactly what the women do and get those tested. The other thing is, when you're starting a sexual relationship with somebody, you should both get tested. And keep in mind that it takes six months for STDs to show up. So you need to be using condoms. You know that, that's the same in English and French, right? Yeah, I will, I will use it. So you gotta use that for the first six months, then once you've been together for a while and you get tested, you realize you're disease-free, then you can talk about letting those things go. I think I'm really scared I'm running to the hospital right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm supposed to ease your fears. I'm not supposed to scare you. Did I ease your fears? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe him. The French don't lie. So today I was at work and I was online and I was looking at escorts, I'm sorry, Miss Josie, and a GFE came up, and I don't know, when they offer a GFE, I don't know what that is, I don't know if I'm down for it. Right, well, let me school you on this. Okay. There's a new Steven Soderbergh movie called The Girlfriend Experience. Oh. I also have a book out that kind of talks about this called Bob, and if I say Girlfriend Experience, does that sort of sound like GFE? That sounds like a nightmare, because I have problems <laughs> with my last girlfriend. Well, this is this is kind of the girlfriend that gets to leave when you tell her to. You have the girlfriend experience. Oh. You pay her, and then she leaves, and she doesn't expect you to call her unless you want another have another girlfriend experience with her. Well, thank you, Anna. Will you have fun with that? Oh yeah, I will. I'll probably get into trouble. Just doing my bit to help the guys out in LA. I'm Anna David. See you next time I go in your pants.